All right, this is Scott Teague with you again. Um, been working on uh, a project with horns in N scale. I'm trying to get the uh, K5 LA R2 and 4 like it's on the uh, GE units here and some of the EMD units that Norfolk Southern put the K5 LA R2 and 4 on. Um, I found a, uh, a train horn. I think I got it from Cato um, or Atlas. Um, it's a K5LA, but it's um, all the bells is, is you know facing forward. So I had to very easy. Well, it wasn't easy. It was very difficult to cut the uh, two bells and put them in the rear. Let's see if I can get this here. There you go. You can see it there. It's got the two and four bell reversed. You can see it good there. And it's very tedious to do because uh, you're, you're working with a small scale. If it was HO, it would be, uh, you know, somewhat less difficult. But I did two, and uh, you have to destroy one horn to get, you know, this horn here. But... Uh, I got a bunch and uh, decided to do it one day and uh, like I said I did too and I had to stop because it's just too tedious but uh, the gluing process that is and the cutting but as you see there uh, looks pretty good see the side view there and like I said that's just uh, one of the things I've been working on too is putting the correct horns on the locomotives and this is a custom painted one that I done, Operation Lifesaver, third, uh, 25th anniversary. I got uh, another one, I think 9255. This is 9252. And like I said, I've been doing these horns right here for, uh, I'll do some more for some, the GE units and some of the EMD units. It has the K5LA R2 and 4 on it, but I think I did a pretty good job. Looks good. And that's one of the projects I've, done, I've been doing. Stay tuned for more. See you, bye.